Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Navarro for our story of the week and it is called Tops and Bottoms. And if you notice right here, there is a medal. This is a Caldecott honor book. And so it has this little medal in the corner and it's adapted and illustrated by Janet Stevens. Okay, and when we open it up, the book is a little different. It opens like this. And we see all kinds of what? Vegetables, things you might plant in a garden. I see carrots and beets. What else do you see? I see some lettuce, corn. And we have our title page, tops and bottoms. Once upon a time, there lived a very lazy bear who had lots of money and lots of land. His father had been a hard worker and a smart business bear, and he had given all of his wealth to his son. But all bear wanted to do was sleep. Not far down the road lived a hare. Although hare was clever, he sometimes got into trouble. He had once owned land too, but now he had nothing. He had bought, lost a risky bet with a tortoise and had sold all of his land to bear to pay off the debt. Hare and his family were in very bad shape. The children are so hungry, Father Hare. We must think of something, Mrs. Hare cried one day. So Hare and Mrs. Hare put their heads together and cooked up a plan. The next day, Hare hopped down the road to the bear's house. There, of course, was asleep. Hello, bear, wake up. It's your neighbor, Hare, and I have an idea. We can be business partners, Hare said. All we need is the field right here in front of your house. I'll do the hard work of planting and harvesting, and we can split the profit right down the middle. Yes, sir, bear, we're in this together. I'll work and you sleep, huh? said Bear. So what will it be, Bear? asked Hare. The top half or the bottom half? It's up to you. Tops or bottoms? Uh, let's see, Bear said with a yawn. I'll take the top half. Hare, right. Tops. Hare smiled. It's a done deal, Bear. So, Bear went back to sleep and Hare and his family went to work. Hare planted, Mrs. Hare watered, and everyone weeded. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, wake up Bear, you get the tops and I get the bottom. What does it look like bear has compared to rabbit? Hare and his family dug up the carrots, the radishes, and the beets. Hare plucked off all the tops, tossed them into a pile for bear, and pulled off the bottoms for himself. So Hare's getting all the vegetables, and bear's not really getting much. How do you think he's gonna feel about that? Bear stared at his pile. But Hare, all the best parts are in your half. You chose the tops, Bear, Hare said. Now Hare, you've tricked me. You plant this field again, and this season, I want the bottoms. Hare agreed. It's a done deal, Bear. Look at his face. Does he look happy? No.
So Bear went back to sleep and Hare and his family went to work. They watered, planted, and weeded. What's Bear doing? Sleep. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, wake up Bear, you get the bottoms and I get the tops. Hare and his family gathered up the lettuce and the broccoli and the celery. Hare pulled off the bottoms for Bear and the tops for his own pile. What do you notice? Bear and the rabbits are getting, <laughs> and then Bear, he tricked him again. Let's find out what's gonna happen. Bear looked at his pile and scowled. Hare, you cheated me again. But Bear, Hare said, you wanted the bottoms this time. Bear growled. You plant this field again, Hare. You've tricked me twice and you owe me one season of both tops and bottoms. You're right, poor old bear, <sighs> sighed Hare. It's only fair that you get both tops and bottoms this time. It's a done deal, bear. So I want you to freeze right now and I want you to think about what is gonna happen next? I want you to think about what's been happening in the story so far. What has Hare been doing to Bear? Now Bear is saying that he wants the tops and the bottoms. So I want you to pause the video and I want you to predict what you think is gonna happen next. You can choose to make an illustration, write about it. I provided you with a paper that you can choose to use or not. And it has a picture and writing to go with it. And so you're going to just do the top half if you choose to do that. That's your prediction, okay? So you're just gonna fill out what you think is gonna happen at the top. When you finish your prediction, then you'll tune into the rest of the story to see what happens next. Okay, so let's find out what happens next in the story and what hair does. So, Bear went back to sleep and Hare and his family went to work. They planted, watered, and weeded. Then watered and weeded some more. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for her harvest, Hare called out, wake up Bear, this time you get the tops and the bottoms. Let's see. There, in front of Bear's house, lay a high field of corn. Hare and his family yanked up every corn stalk. Hare tugged off the roots at the bottom and the tassels at the top and put them in a pile for Bear. Then he carefully collected the ears of corn in the middle and place them in his own pile. So what is Hare getting? He's getting the middle and he got the corn. And what did Bear get? He got the roots and the tassels at the top. Did he trick him again? Bear rubbed his eyes and watched. See Bear, you get the tops and the bottoms. I get the middle. Yes, sir, Bear, it's a done deal. What's gonna happen? How's Bear gonna feel? By now, Bear was wide awake. That's it, Hare, he hollered. From now on, I'll plant my own crops and take the tops, bottoms, and middles. Hare and his family scooped up the corn and hopped down the road toward home. Was Bear happy? Why is he so angry? because Hare has been tricking him. And every time he picks something different, then Hare would pick a different vegetable that would benefit him so that he would get most of the crop and Bear really wasn't getting anything. But was Bear helping? What was Bear doing? Sleeping. Bear never slept through a season of planting and harvesting. 
Hare brought back his land with the profit of the crops and he and Mrs. Hare opened a vegetable stand. And although Hare and Bear learned to live happily as neighbors, they never became business partners again. So, did you predict right? Did you predict that Hare was going to try to trick Bear again? I like this story for a couple of reasons. It's good for making predictions and inferencing. It's also a Caldecott Honor Award. And it shows a story about a clever Hare tricking a bear. And so you have to think about this Friday, I'm gonna give you an optional optional assignment and you can write about what about what Hare did. Do you think that he was right in what he did? Do you think that was a poor choice? And how do you feel about it? It's just optional for fun. But this was called Tops and Bottoms and I can't wait to see your predictions. Bye, see you soon.